What's up YouTube, it's Lizzie with Techaholics. Back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to use the BIOS in Damien PS2. So let's get it in. Alright, I just remembered that y'all wanted to see like the different BIOS that I had on my BIOS files and I want to go ahead and I want to run through that real quick I actually just remembered that so let me throw this bit in here like in the beginning or something like that just so y'all can see so let me go into my Damien PS2 let me show y'all so some of these ones they don't work um, I'll put the links for both of these down in this the description in case if you want to use it I don't know what the purpose of it would be for um, as you could tell in the video that the 1000 or 10,000 works really good um, but as of the 39,000 or whatever you want to say that one I don't know the purpose of it but we'll see if it'll work like how it did before Okay, yeah, it's not it's not loading up the way that it used to. So what it'll do is that it'll give you like the menu on the PS2. You put in like the information on like what time, what date, and all that stuff, and it will give you, you know, like the format and stuff like that, I guess, of the PS2. Then whenever you put it in there, it'll actually show you, you know, the different like I, I don't know, like, like you would have to put in, like, your, um, your time zone and stuff like that. So it looks more similar to the PS2, like, whenever you start it up. Let's try this one. I know that one of them, it doesn't work, but it, like, gives you, like, your save files. So you can't run it as, like, the emulator, but it'll still run it, like, as the PS2. Like whenever you first turn it on so it won't like yeah like this right here so if you have any save files you can go in here and you can either delete them or you can pull them back up or whatever you need to do so this is pretty cool um, in case if you can't find your files that are saved on your device you can actually find it right here Yeah, yeah, this is really cool. So, see, I do have some saved data. Um, but if I go here and if I click on the CD drive, it's not going to play the game. Or if this one does, then that'll be pretty weird because normally it doesn't. Nah, you see, yeah. So if you're just trying to pull up your uh, your game files, you can do that. Or if you want to pull up the PS2 menu like how I did you can do that so you can do the browser which would be this or you can do the configuration see so like the clock you can do language you know video out which would make no sense because you're not using video output unless if you have something plugged in but that's just gonna do it as your normal output so I mean there's different things that these bios do that when let me say the version yeah I mean look at this it's pretty cool but I mean it there I don't I don't understand what this would be for uh, maybe somebody that can tell me down in the comments you know what this might be used for but other than that that's pretty much what the bios do it just gives you the configuration of the ps2 so if you want to play games, it could either um, like, you know, have your save files or it can have, um, you know, like what whatever you need to pull up, like how it would be on a normal PS2. That's basically what the BIOS do or it just sends you straight to the game just so you'll be able to start playing it. 
but like let's say you can't find any of your saved games that's basically what this is for i'm guessing but like i said if there's any other you know thing that y'all could think of that you can tell me you just leave it down in the comments but i just thought that i would share that with you and i'll save or i'll send i'll put these links in the description for you guys just so y'all can download them and just check them out for yourself i believe that there's one more i don't know if it does anything just because you know these that i downloaded a while ago i really didn't go through them like how i am now but i mean a couple of them i did open up by accident because i didn't know what they were but obviously as you can tell there's no use or no purpose for that unless if you know how to get to your save files and it's not that hard so this one works like a normal ps2 like player also but like i said the the bios they work differently you know there there's always going to be something different with the bios but if you have a good running bios that's the best one to use so i thought that i shared this with you guys all right so this was a very requested video and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to download it how to use it and in case if you want to put it like on an sd card like i did mine i'll show you how to do that as well so first things first is that you want to go to the link in the description and you want to download the bios so let me go ahead and let me open that up or let me show you how to do it so whenever you press on the link it should pop up with this website right here so you just want to scroll down to where it says continue your website download direct download I've already got it downloaded but I'll go ahead and uh, just cancel it but anyways whenever you download it it'll do like how it normally would do and then once it gets downloaded you want to go into your ES file explorer if you want to transfer it over to your SD card so we're just gonna go right here look up uh, ES file and you want to go over here to the three dashes load up scroll down to where you see where it says download and you'll see the file right here so you can do one of two things it's either you can um, put it in an internal file so if you have like a file that you have on your internal drive and if you don't have an SD card you can put it there so you know where it's at at all times you can keep it in your downloads or you can just transfer it over to your SD card so if you want to do that, you can go to more, move to, and you want to go to back and look for storage. Scroll down to where you see the file wherever you want to put it in. Mine would be right here, but obviously I already got it in there, so I'm not going to put it back in there. So if you want to use the file on Damien PS2, you just go to Damien PS2, open it up. go to bios and whenever you first get the application and you open it up you'll see where it says home right here and you could choose your internal drive or your SD card so for this demonstration I'm going to show the internal drive and show y'all that it's working then I'll show y'all my SD card working so I'm just going to scroll down go to downloads it's right here and from here I can just click wherever else that I want to go to so I can go to games or go to recent. So I'll just go ahead and I'll open up Spyro real quick. Make sure that's turned down so it's not too loud. So you, as you can tell, this bio is working, and it'll work the same way with my SD card, or if it's loaded on my SD card. So I just go right here to BIOS, back, back, SD card, scroll down to where it says PS2 games and BIOS, PS2 BIOS, there it is, 
go to recent, Spyro again. There you go, it's running. So you need to have it on your internal drive or your SD card drive. The reason why I have it on my SD card drive is because it's easier for me to find it. And if I'm wanting to load a game, I could just load it straight from there. I have my own uh, file on that SD card that has all my games and everything for my PS2. Then I'll have everything for my, um, my Classic Boy or any other emulator that I have. I have all those separate files in that SD card so I know where to look. But if you have any more questions or comments, leave them down in the comment selection. And as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.